Hey, this is Mike. Just want to show you this 2007 Toyota FJ Cruiser. Now, this is the first one I've seen, and I'm not an expert on them, but just want to show you what it, this one's all about anyway. Really sporty looking SUVs. It's kind of like a mixture of a like a Land Rover and a Hummer and a Jeep, kind of all rolled in one. It has alloy wheels. This one's black with a white top and it has that like a rack on the top, I guess, for luggage and stuff. Or surfboards or anything. Now the front door opens like this. You can see it has a pretty good size speaker and a and a pocket there. And pretty good amount of room. Now this back door opens up the opposite way. You just have to reach your hand back here. And there's this handle. You just open it up like so and it kind of like gravity falls down like that that's how you access the back seats which is pretty neat um, I like the way it just kind of it doesn't kind of swing out too far it just kind of hangs out there a little bit and it just gives you pretty good access here to the back seat and the floor is like a like a vinyl covering so it's it's made I guess for it'd be good for like the beach or pretty much anywhere where it's not gonna have problems with stuff getting in the carpet it should be easy to clean you have a pretty good sized threshold there and the door latches on the top and bottom everything seems really well built and strong solid feeling vehicle This one has a towing hitch, it also has backup sensors. I'm gonna open up the back here. This opens up as a shock piston there that kind of helps you open it up. It does swing out pretty wide, so you gotta make sure you have enough room to open up the door. And here's your cargo area. Now those, car those back seats fold down, as you can see, just like the Hummer, They've got like a, a cargo surface on the back of them and then that way um, you know you can load stuff in there and not really worry about messing up the seats. Got a lot of headroom in there. Got a little storage pocket right there for where your tools are for your spare tire. You got some more storage space in there. tie downs and check out that little tiny windshield wiper it's like really small it's like uh, I don't know six or seven inches and then you have the gas cap on the driver's side and over here Here's the inside of the driver's door. You got a pocket there, big speaker. And the same thing on this side, you can open up this door by reaching in and it kind of flops down. Give you an idea of what it looks like with the doors open like that. But I'm gonna go ahead and hop in. See what we see on the inside. Turn the fan down a little bit. Hopefully it won't. It's a very hot day, so I'm gonna have the air conditioner on. Hopefully it won't interfere with the camera too much. But here's the steering wheel. Cruise controls down there. And you got your turn signal windshield wipers. It has three windshield wipers. So check it out. There's like three going at one time, three little ones. Thought that was pretty interesting. Never seen that before. And there's your gauges. Pretty easy to read, pretty simple. You know, not too complicated. Radio. It's got the uh, MP3 playing CD player. It also plays MP, um, Windows Media Files. 
big dials for the for the comic control, real easy to read, simple. You can lock the rear differential, um, parking sensors, you can turn those, up, those on and off. You have one auxiliary in case you want to hook up something. You also have a power supply right here, 12 volt. One cup holder there, pocket there. Shifter's kind of neat, it's kind of like, kind of fits your hand. You know, it's kind of slanted, it's not no, like straight up and down, it's kind of slanted. And then when you put it in gear like that, it's pretty neat. There's your emergency brake. Little pocket there, real shallow one. And there's another cup holder here. Then you got this really big open space for putting junk. Armrests for the driver and passenger on the inside. You also have this neat um, storage bin right here and uh, put some stuff in there. Now you want to make sure that just like in you know anywhere really in the car that if you put stuff in there it's not going to be heat sensitive. So if you put something in there that's going to you know cause a problem because it gets really hot in the dashboards of cars when the sun shining directly on them. So you want to keep that in mind. Big glove compartment. Lots of headroom. Got a, the visor there, no mirror on that side. Got a little tiny mirror on that side. Really tiny. You got your handle there, handle there. I'm gonna take a look underneath the hood. See what's under there. I know there's an engine, but I don't know what it looks like. Okay, it's got the VVT, uh, v V6, Toyota engine. I'm sure it has plenty of power to get around out on the highway, cruising on the highway. You can set the cruise and go up and down hills without any problem, I'm sure. But yeah, pretty interesting vehicle. Like I said, this is the first one I've seen. Um, it has a real interesting look. But um, if you have any questions, I'll try to find out answers for you if I can. But uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments or you can email me. My email address will be in the description. See you next time.